What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be actually answering a Redbubble question about uh, having your work reviewed. Should you worry if your work gets reviewed on Redbubble? I've gotten this question a few times now and um, when I say a few times I actually mean multiple times um, and I've had a lot of people freaking out worrying and saying oh my god I'm freaking out I'm worried for some reason every single one of my designs are being reviewed, they're going into review, what's going on, should I worry? The answer is no, you shouldn't worry, but I'll explain why you shouldn't worry through this video. So, if you guys remember, the reason why I'm logged out of my Redbubble store here, if you guys remember on yesterday's video, let me just go ahead and pull up yesterday's video as I speak here. On yesterday's video, guys, um, I showed a store that was relatively brand new. I mean, we started the first of the month, yesterday was the second, today's the third, and, um, when I when I started that store, uh, the first day created 60 designs, the second day created 60 designs, but the, for the video, you guys didn't see um, that it said 120 designs. It said something like 116 or 113 or 112, something like that. Well, the reason why it said 112 designs, even though I had done, I think, 119 or 120, is because six of them or seven of them or whatever the number was, was in review by Redbubble. Today, this morning, they got approved, but really, I want to kind of explain the whole process behind that. So, this was the video. Um, it was this one right here. Let me go ahead and actually pause this ad. Let me turn off the volume here. I apologize for that, guys. Um, so, this was the ad here, but this is the video. It's the red one here, um, and it's called Brand New Redbubble Store for Sales, and you could see here how I uh, kind of blacked out the, the uh, screen, but... I think where it ma maybe I blacked this part out. No, there there it is. You could see here on the screen it says 113 results. The seven results that were not shown, even though I had created 120 designs, um, were in review. We're in the review process now. Why does the review process first of all happen? Well, there are certain triggers in the Redbubble algorithm that might be a worry, right? It, it might trigger for whatever reason. So it could be a keyword that's specifically added to your tag list that might be owned by a certain company. And what happens is, is Redbubble has these uh, workers who will review your actual design. Now the thing when they review it, what they look for is they look for any stolen material. So even though you're using the same tag, it doesn't ne re necessarily represent that you're stealing people's work. If you notice this with Merch by Amazon, it's actually a completely different scenario. With Merch by Amazon, it's very, very rare that um, they'll actually let your work go even though you have a trademarked word on it. Usually it gets denied automatically. Um, with Redbubble, it's completely different. With Redbubble, they'll actually look at the design and see if you stole anybody's uh, IP from that keyword. So for example, right, if I use the word Marvel in my tags, let's just use this as an example. I'm not saying that, you know, this is allowed or not allowed, but I'm giving you guys an example here. The Like, let's use Marvel, right? You guys know the company Marvel that made Iron Man, uh, Superman, uh, The Incredible Hulk, all these different scenarios, right? Uh, these different shows, movies, whatever, okay? What What's going to happen is that keyword is going to trigger. It doesn't have to be the word Marvel. It could be any other word, but that keyword is going to trigger. What's going to happen is after, you know, right before the design gets published, the Red Bull algorithm is going to send you an email saying your work is in review. It doesn't necessarily mean that your work is suspended, but will let you know if it goes back public. And so what happens is, is when they review the actual design, let's just say your design has nothing to do with the actual intellectual property, then they'll hit approve on it and they'll allow it to be on the website. And once they hit approve on that, your website, your design will be into the public uh, face. And more importantly, it's going to have that keyword tagged in the tags. Now, there are ways around certain tags if you're, if you're familiar with how the tag system works. And I actually talk about this in the tagging course uh, for those who, are, who aren't familiar. When you tag certain designs, guys, there are different ways to go around certain keywords. But at the end of the day, if your keyword uh, is, is, um, is, if you're tagging keywords that necessarily are, you know, uh, IP, you know, trademarked by other entities, whether it be a company or a person or whatever, those people technically do have the right to take them down, even though it has nothing to do with your design, but it has to do with your tag. The thing is, is that Redbubble has fair use policies, and we've actually went over this before, but with Redbubble's fair use cases, guys, it's all about 
um, not abusing the IP, which basically means that fair use is, and we could just pull it up here, but let, let me go ahead and just search it on Google, Redbubble fair use, okay, let's just go ahead and click on it, and they actually tell you what it is, um, it says here, generally speaking, fair use is exactly as it sounds, it designates that the, that your art fairly uses a different element created, so that's really what it is, you could use the same word, that doesn't mean it's the same element, now there are some people who go overboard with this, and the reality is, is that, Redbubble doesn't really have a barometer of under understanding for fair use, so it's either fully allowed or not allowed at all. And what happens is, is most of the times, Redbubble will allow it. Most of the times, at least from what I've seen. Now, if you go on a different platform like Merch by Amazon, completely different. In fact, you'll get, you know, there is almost no fair use. For example, if you put like, um, I'll go, I'll go ahead and show you guys an example. I saw a Redbubble hunting shirt. And the hunting shirt had like a Nike symbol with a pair of uh, like deer antlers on it. I actually wish I could pull it up, but maybe just hunt it or something. Just let me see. Just do it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. See, like like this is this is clearly Nike, but but something like this. Let's use this for example. Right. In a real world of merch by Amazon. This would be taken down. It would never be approved because it clearly has the Nike symbol and Amazon would never want to risk that, right? And the reason why Amazon is so gung-ho about this is because they're a bigger platform, they have deeper pockets, and they don't want to get sued. But if you look at Redbubble, Redbubble clearly has the policies that allow fair use. And under the circumstances for use, this is technically, in Redbubble's eyes, is allowed. Now, here's the thing, like I said, if Nike came to, to, to Redbubble and said, we want this design taken down right here, right now, they're going to do it. They're not going to say no, because it, fair use is, is very flexible in terms, right? It depends who's really viewing it, who is the judge, who is the person in charge at this point. Now, once again, when your works guys get in review, as long as you're not uh, taking other people's content, like, for example, you're using a certain keyword that triggers the algorithm to be in review, and, uh, and you're not stealing people's work or anything like that, they're gonna allow it, they're not gonna have a problem with it, I don't want you guys to worry if your work gets into review, don't freak out, don't sweat it, it happens to everybody, because the reality is, is we can't check every single keyword that we're tagging into Redbubble, Okay, there's just no way we could do that. I mean, we're human beings here. We're not machines. We're not going to be able to check every single tag. Sometimes we might have 20, 30 tags, 15 tags, and we might upload 50 designs a day. We're not going to be able to do that if we're actually actively checking everything. Now, in terms of the designs, you guys know, I never push 60 designs on anybody. That's something I personally do. But, you know, other people can do what they want in terms of numbers. And that's not even my discussion for here today. And that's not something I'm focused on. I just figured we'd talk about this concept because there's a lot of people have been mentioning this to me recently. Now, something that you'll notice is multiple of your designs can potentially, guys, be um, tagged for uh, uh, review because, you know, they have to review the content, and this usually does happen when people copy and paste their tags over from design to design to design, which is normal, right? Redbubble has a function where you can copy the same settings over other designs, and what happens is, and I do this normally too sometimes, is where, I, let's say I create one design, right? I move on to my next design, but I, since they're the same size and whatnot, I copy the same settings over. You guys know, when you upload a work to Redbubble, you have two options. You can upload a completely brand new work, or you can copy the settings of a previous work. So you can click that copy button, and when you click that copy button, the tags are already pre-built in for you, which is nothing wrong with either. But the problem is, is that your if your previous one went into review, your second one is going to go into review, and third one, etc., because that keyword triggers it. Now they're going to review it, and it might not you know necessarily be a problem, and they'll approve it. But if you don't want to be in the review process, just be aware of that, and be aware of certain keywords that might potentially trigger it. And there are some words that you would never think could trigger a review, but it does, uh, and that's just normal, you know, like, it's just really normal to, at the end of the day, you never know what kind of keywords people have trademarked or businesses have trademarked that are out there, 
you know, you just never know. So I figured I'd just make this video, give everybody, you know, you know, this is a calm down message. Like, please don't worry if Redbubble puts, you know, reviews your designs. There's no worry at all. Now, if you took other people's designs blatantly and you actually triggered the keyword, then you might be a little bit worried. But, you know, I wouldn't say you should worry on anything in that in, in terms of that aspect, especially if you're doing everything right. Um, in terms of the courses, you guys know the deal with the courses, uh, autopilotpassiveincome.com. You could check out the Zazzle course for those who want to get into Zazzle. We have Redbubble and we have the t uh, design course, 60 designs under an hour, under 30 minutes actually, or almost 30 minutes, 63 designs in 30 minutes. Um, you know, no, no niche research needed uh, for all 60 designs. Uh, tagging, no, no clever setup needed. We show how to do all that in the videos. The tagging, you guys know the deal with the tagging uh, to get traffic through the Redbubble search algorithm, which is literally all that we discussed yesterday. Like if you saw yesterday's video, that was the concept of yesterday's video, which the concept was is that we got two sales the first day just by uploading the right designs with the right tags. And those right tags helped us get seen through the Redbubble search algorithm. Not the Google search algorithm, but the Redbubble search algorithm. So I'll leave those links in the first link um, or the first comment of the uh, pinned comments in the YouTube video. Uh, if you need access to any of these courses, I'll leave them down there, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I figured I'd put this video out just so we can not worry about if our works get reviewed or anything like that. All right, I'll talk to you later. Peace out, bye.